Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. This is going to be a bit of an awkward video because as you can see, I'm running out of light. I started the video much earlier and it took a lot longer so I decided to do a shorter one and swatch everything first. Um, but this is part two of the finishes and formulas. Um, the video that part one we looked at things like creams, jellies, mattes, shimmers, textures, all those kind of things and what we're going to be looking at today are <clears throat> more different finishes really. Um, I tried to get as many as I possibly could think of um, and it extended into the two parts. On my nails by the way you can probably see it there in the sun particularly these two are more true to colour. Um, this is Mayhem Mentality by Orly and it's just such a bright 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 neon it's a lovely sunshiny day actually today despite the lack of um despite the lack of light in the kitchen but i'm hoping that this window here will be able to show you the, the finishes in the polish um and it's topped there with um polish me royalties popping candy which we're going to have a look at when we look at the polishes so let's start with um, multi-chrome um, if you you can get a duochrome or a multi-chrome duochrome is just usually two colors that shift from one to the other in the light um, and a multi-chrome is something like this which is uh, Cygnus Loop by INLP and you can see in the light there you can see how it shifts from purple to blue to gold there's pink in there even a little bit of green in there um, and it's also got this lovely shimmer glittery shimmer in there as well which I hadn't noticed before um, I'd only noticed the color shift so that's Cygnus loop and on the swatch wheel that's what it looks like on its own in two coats and this is what it looks like, although I picked up the swatch wheel by this before. So I have put two coats of this over black. Um, and hopefully you can see at the sides of the swatch there, that colour shift. So that's a multi-chrome. Now the next one I want to show you, oh, can we move across a bit more into the light? That's the, that's the handle of the window in the kitchen, it's crazy. Um, and I want to show you a metallic so this one here is a metallic from Barry M and this one is Bronze Bay so this is a bronze metallic and it looks like this on the on the nail it's got this lovely scattered shimmer to it as well there's another metallic here that I wanted to show you that dries a little bit more actually no it's not matte but this has also got the holographic scattered holographic so actually let me show you these two together got a linear holographic which is mortal coil these are both from Polish Me Royalty and linear means you look you, there you can actually see the ra the runs of the the rainbow in the rainbow colors in, in like a, a, a line and scattered holographic you've got the holographic but in scattered particles there you go rather than in the lines and on the nail you can see it really strongly there so that's mortal coil that's the linear holographic and that's the scattered holographic particles there so that's uh, metallic now we move on to flakies and there are three flakies that I want to show you the light is just moving in and out all the time so I'm sorry about this but I wanted to show you in the light these flakies this is Raindrops by Illamasqua and this is a very subtle in fact it looks a lot brighter in the sunshine there but we've got this lovely 
scattered flaky silver flaky in this lovely grey that's raindrops this is um, an iridescent flaky from polished from uh, pretty serious fairy guts this is the one that I really like but it doesn't dry very well and this is um, a more densely packed flaky so let's have a look at these three uh, I managed to get a little bit of Cygnus loop on this one but there's raindrops and you can see the the flakies in there it's just very delicate this one here is Astral Romance by Polish Me Royalty and that's got more dense flakies in it and what I want to do is show you fairy guts over black so you can see the iridescent flake is there the sunlight is doing my head in <laughs> where are we there come on sun come back there we go that's the iridescent flakies okay I now want to show you a crackle polish um, so let's do it over this gold actually I've only got one crackle. This was a, a fad that was around a couple of years ago. This is China Glaze Black Mesh and I picked this up cheap at TK Maxx just because I wanted to have a crackle polish even if it was just one. And you can be quite messy with this. Just what is quite thick. One coat over the colour of your choice and we can actually see as it dries it starts to dry into this lovely crackle effect finish and you can see the base colour underneath that's quite nice actually there we go there's the scattered holographic in uh, Mythoclast which is the gold Polish Me Royalty Okay, that's the crackle. Um, okay, let's have a look at glitters. So there are a few glitters to show you, different types of glitters. We've got glitter topper, um, and this is Polish Me Royalty Unicornucopia. Um, and this is the very first polish that I noticed on Instagram by um, Polish Me Royalty that kind of caught my eye. So um, I was looking for, I'm going to put this over... Oh, I've already put it over black. Um, this was, um, I was looking for something that was like China Glaze Fairy Dust, but that dried properly, because I don't know if it's just my version, if it's my bottle, but it doesn't, my Fairy Dust by China Glaze just doesn't dry, um, whereas this one does, um, and it's great. So that's, this is my Polish Me Royalty alternative to Fairy Dust which looks pretty much exactly the same. So that's a, a holographic glitter topper. And then we've got a full coverage glitter. So this is, you can wear this on its own. And it builds up in, this is two coats here. And you get a full glitter nail. So this is a lovely pinky lilac full coverage glitter and it's three libras by polish me royalty and the next glitter i want to show you is a topper with a clear base and this is this one here this lovely it's got stars and hexes in it and it's captain swan by polish me royalty you can see the little stars in there and what I've done here, when we looked at the jelly polishes, this is actually NARS, the NARS jelly polish that I showed you. This one here, Jungle Red. Um, one of the things that I forgot to mention that you can do with jelly polishes is a jelly sandwich. So while we're looking at the glitters with a clear 
base I thought we could do a glitter uh, jelly sandwich so what you do is you put your jelly first jelly base coat down um, which is obviously the NARS and I've topped that with one layer of Captain Swan which is this one and I'm trying not to touch the swatch wheel where it's still not completely dry you just put another layer of the jelly over and you can see you can still see the glitters in there but it's encased in this lovely jelly so that's a jelly sandwich you can add even more depth by putting another layer of glitter and then another layer of jelly um, and it just makes it look as though it's been caught and it's, it adds that depth to it and it looks like it's just been caught in the jelly okay uh, the next one that I want to show you is a full another full coverage glitter but it's a tinted base um, so you can get this you can wear it on its own um, this is just one coat here actually um, this is a chunky glitter in a jelly base and this is depths from Polish Me Royalty so you can wear that either on its own or over a blue but you can it is an not over the orange there but it is an opaque you can get that opaque because of the blue tinted base and the other one to show you is this one here which I've got on my nails which is popping candy and this is a matte glitter so not shiny it's uh, matte although this is neon and where I showed you the um, jelly sandwich here I'm also going to show you the matte glitters with the same technique and this is called a pond manicure so you've got the, this is exactly the same as a glitter sandwich but rather than glittery polish glitter topper you're using a matte glitter topper so what I've done is I've put this over Orly's who's who's who pink uh, that's the one that one of one of the ones that the dog chewed up <laughs> um, and I've also put popping candy and we're, we're going to see we're going to add another layer of the Orly it just gives it this milky texture as though the the glitters have been kind of drowned as though they're at the bottom of a pond um, and it, what you would do again with the pond manicure is you would add another coat of glitter and then another coat of the more sheer polish um, and that builds up the depth but that's a, the first kind of layer of a pond manicure okay so that's the glitters um, we're going to move on to the thermal now this is the thermal here it's got a, a bit of a chalky consistency I just swipe that in one coat um, but I just want to show you this is the one that I mentioned MK if you remember it's this mauvey colour but it comes out purple on the nail wheel that's be and, and matte and that's that's because it's thermal but that's it there this is the Suicide Squad polish and I'm going to I'm right by the sink so I'm going to run some cold water um, and see if we can get the colour to change on this Okay, so it was actually hot water that I needed and it's changed it into from the purple to this mauvey colour and I'm going to put it under the cold tap yeah there you go wet swatch wheel <laughs> 
So it changes depending on whether it's in. Now this has been sat in the sun, so it's gone the mauvey colour. Um, but I think when you put it under cold water, it goes into the purple there. And now I've wet my magnetic polish, <laughs> which is what I wanted to show you next. Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay, um, I'm going to, I've already put two layers of the magnetic polish and this is Crocs A Killer. I know I've shown you this before, I'm just going to show you very quickly again. So a third coat and as it's drying you get your magnet, this one's the cat's eye magnet. And just hold it over. I don't know if this is going to work because I've got too much water here. Hold it over for, I would say, about 10 seconds. As near to the nail as you can get it. Yeah, it's worked a little bit there. You get that depth to the cat's eye. I've got a, a short video, actually, on my channel that shows you the uh, cat's eye magnet effect. Um, so that's that one and the very last thing to tell you to talk to you about is the pearlescent and the iridescent now this is something that I think confuses me the most and I don't know if I've got the right idea here but to me this is a pearlescent polish you see that iridescent sheen in there and also this one, to me, you can see the pink there, that's a slight pearlescent. And the only way I can say the difference is, and I wonder if you can see the, them on the swatch wheel. Uh, this one here is one coat, believe it or not, of Totally Fort Worth. You need about four coats to build it up. But I've actually put it over here, I've put it over raindrops. No, you can't see it in the in the light. Okay, the easiest way to explain this is just to say it a pearlescent shimmer to me is just imagine the inside of a shell, of a seashell. So you get this shimmery satin sheen that's usually a purpley pink and that's that's a pearlescent sheen. Um and iridescent is so this to me these flakies are iridescent so when you get rather than holographic so when you say you're in the bath and you've got your bubble bath and the light shines off one of the big bubbles in the bubble bath and you get these lights these these type this type of light reflected that's iridescent that's pearlescent but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. It's the thing that confuses me the most. What's iridescent and what's pearlescent and what's holographic. But that's that's my opinion anyway. So that's um, the part two of my formulas and finishes. I've made a complete mess of the kitchen. I've got polishes everywhere. I've got water everywhere. And I need to go and clean up. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.